Hey guys, for this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I do my manicure at home. This is very simple, quite easy, and this is the way that I've done my manicure at home for the longest time. For step one, what you're going to do is you're going to remove that nail polish that you might have on your fingernails, which I didn't have any, but I did want to remove anything that was on my nails just so I could show you. I did have nail polish before, that's why you can see that my nails are a bit pinkish. For step number two is you're going to cut your nails. I'm just going to be cutting just a little bit of my fingernails. I don't want to cut too much because I do like the length that I have right now on my right hand. I am right handed so you might notice that those nails are a bit shorter than my than the fingernails on my left hand and the reason for that is because when I do housework, wash dishes, or cook sometimes my nails do tend to break so my right hand is always I always have shorter nails on the right side for step number three is you're going to file your nails and you're going to file your nails just going in one direction I do have a glass nail file that I purchased a while back and I read on one of the books because I used to get a whole bunch of books at the library that the glass nail files are better because they don't damage your nails but you can use any nail file that you might find at home. The other nail file that I am using I purchased at Sally's Beauty Supply and again just file going in one direction because your nails can break and you don't want to do harm your nails so file just going into one direction. You don't want to do left to right, right to left like a saw. You just want to go in one direction. For step number four is you're going to soak your nails in warm water. I like to use hot water but not as hot that I can't put my hands in there but I do like it to be warm and I like to leave my fingernails in there for a couple of minutes and I do use some Dawn soap as well. By soaking your nails into this warm water this is going to help also for you to be able to push back your cuticles but it can be a bit painful even just with soaking them in water. So you do want to use a cuticle cream which is the next step that I'm going to be sharing with you. I like to use two different cuticle creams that I have at home. I purchased one at Walmart and the other one I purchased at CVS, the SE one. That one was purchased at CVS. The round one, the one with a lemon, that one you can find at Walmart the birds these but I'm gonna be leaving these cuticle creams in the description box below just in case you're interested or you can use any cuticle cream that you might have at home another thing is you can also use home remedies which I'm gonna be leaving you a link also of a video that I have of home remedies on how to grow your nails and other tips for your nails For the next step, this is an optional step, you can also cut your cuticles. I do not recommend this. I did um, also read in one of the books that this could cause infection. The only time that I do cut my cuticles is it's if I have a little bit of skin on my finger, like that loose skin, those little skin, I, I'm not sure what they're called, but those are very tempting and sometimes you pull them and you start bleeding. So that's the only time that I do cut that um, with a cuticle cutter or that's the only time that I do cut them. One thing that I do like to do is I like to push back my cuticles. I feel like this helps with my nail growth so I do like to do that and what I do or what I use is one of the cuticle pushers. Mine's made out of plastic and I really like it because it's not that painful and I also like to remove that skin that's left after pushing the cuticles with the cuticle cream that's going to help a lot and you can also use your nail as well because that cuticle cream already helped smooth that skin there so it's going to be quite easy to remove
as I mentioned, you can use one of these cuticle cutters to cut that loose skin that you see here. That's the only time that I do cut that part. Just because if I leave it, I know it's going to be tempting. I'm going to want to pull it off. Or sometimes it, it'll start bleeding and then, it, and then it'll start growing and getting um, a bit. Uh, it goes, starts growing towards the top and then you have to cut it up, cut it off eventually. I'm going to be using one of these, um, I don't really know what they're called, but it's it, it's really helpful, this sponge. You can file your nails here. I like that you can condition your nails. You can um, smooth your nails. It does quite a few steps here that you have to follow and I really like it because they have the, it has the nail buffer, the polish and shine and it really does help if your nails do um, have that shine after using this without having to use like a face coat or a top coat. Um, it removes the ridges on the surface of or any roughness on the surface of your nails and I really like that. I purchased it at the dollar store, but I'm pretty sure you can find it at any other store. For step number eight, I'm going to be cleaning with a brush the inside of my nails, or cleaning all of my nails. And this is a very important step because sometimes we have stuff under our nails that we didn't know we have in there. Dirt, food, if you eat some hot wings or anything, there could be germs, dirt, all that junk. Let's get rid of that with this brush. I use the same water, the soapy water. And after that, I'm just going to rinse my hands in clean water. After that, I'm going to use a towel to dry them off. And we are almost finished. I purchased a kit that was the Burt's Bees and it came with a hand repair or hand cream. Uh, I like this Burt's Bees um, hand cream a lot because it really, really leaves your hands very smooth and you can also take the time to give yourself a massage at home because we are doing a manicure at home and you want to treat yourself so treat yourself with the relaxing hand massage I know guys, you guys are probably thinking she should have removed her rings for this, but I just wanted my fingers and my hands to look pretty so I left the rings on. Finally, what you can do is you can apply a cuticle oil and you want to massage this into your fingernails. This helps with nail growth. You can also apply coconut oil or any other kind of oil that you have at home. I am uh, going to be leaving a video where I did a whole bunch of remedies of other things that you can use to increase that nail growth and final steps you can use a base coat any nail polish color of your choice and let that dry and then apply a top coat so the nail polish could last a lot longer and this manicure could look so pretty I decided to use the spring color because I was going to be doing a tutorial after this 
but this is the way my nails turned out i hope you guys enjoy watching this video thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video don't forget to like this video and do it before you forget thanks for watching i'll see you in my next video bye bye